Wrong Radio Show is going on tour this year coming. Look for them in your local VFW hall or bingo hall. Maybe, perhaps, your local libraries. I Killed My Teenage Wife, an audio play by R.L. Carlson, is racy but inspiring towards helping the psychotic urges of any of the human race. On the Wrong Radio Show... It was such a nice day. I had a real smile on my face. It's been a long time. I really felt the warmth of the sunshine of the day, you know. She made me feel like nothing with the comments just she said. Over barely anything. Over barely anything at all. Such a minute little thing. But she tore me down to shreds. I look at that little pretty bow in her hair. I grab my hammer. Right up over her head. I would daydream of the day of just right over her head. A daydream of it. And now it's real. And she's dead. There she lays. Waiting for me to put her in a grave. What am I gonna do? She had a real and beautiful, pretty day. She had to, didn't she? She was always good that way. Fucking bitch, that lousy damn. Now I gotta find, I gotta find a way of disposing of her. And what story can I use? She took off? I don't know, I can say maybe she jumped to a truck at a truck stop. In this day and age, there's cameras all over. I don't know what to do. Shit. I'm gonna have to just relax and think of something. Just, just, just relax and just think of something. I know there's an answer. Just gotta relax and something will come. I'm gonna have at least what? A day. Turn off the living room lights. Because, uh, I don't want anybody to come up because I'm not answering the door. Look at my dog's over there licking and kissing her. Kissing and licking. But they're not crying. She never fed them. Hell, she didn't even want the dogs. started this decline, this decline of our torturous marriage of hell, that bitch, look what she made me do, look what she 
made me do. It was a wonderful day. And she made me just take this hammer and pour it over her. And her blood just comes spilling out of the crack in her head. It was such a pretty red. It looked like her bow, the ribbon that was in her hair, it matched the same color. It just so happened. It's kind of a pretty sight. I guess I'm out of my mind, a bit psychotic. She drove me that way, you know. I feel a peacefulness in all this. But I do have to find uh, somewhere to put her safely so I don't get caught. And didn't really think this out. at the pros and cons and I think I'm gonna be all right I feel a heavy load off my chest now I see you laying there and it's all so peaceful not breathing and I'm not sharing oxygen with her anymore so I'm doing just fine I'm doing just fine no more why I have to answer to her no more why I have to do anything she said So choked up I can't even sing. I never felt such freedom. Now I can throw away my wedding ring. It was always constricting. But that would make me look guilty. So I'll hang on to it. to the ring. It'll remind me of uh, the freedom I gained. Zerts from the play, I Killed My Teenage Wife, by R.L. Carlson. It's just taken the country by storm, shocking people, and a horrific 
type of style, but taking the nation by storm and grabbing up all the awards for audio plays across this nation and worldwide. Luckily, we had no children. Her womb was rotten. And now, her lousy disposition will be forgotten. I think I might have been the only one that even maybe barely liked her. But it was grotesque. I had to cut her to pieces and drive parts of her body across the state in different areas, in different forests, different digs, all different shovels that I stole from garages along my three-day trip. And the dogs, they scratched their way out of the front door or something, because they come home and they're gone. Front door swinging open. Dog's gone, wife's gone. And the cornfields are brown, there hasn't been no rain. And my truck tire is low. And my well, it has no flow. Boil me up some swamp water. Eat some pork rinds. I got some grease from three weeks ago. I look at pictures of our wedding. Drinking my whiskey, burning them in the ashtray. Pictures just all turned to smoke and blew away. And that'd be the end of her that day. I have some audio recordings I found of her one night. And I drank a bottle of rum. And I listened to those recordings all night Then I hit the erase button Forever gone It was just that easy could have done it years ago But now I sit here At the end of my days Thinking of her In those old loving ways So in the name of love, I raise up this old hammer that I've had since the day I dropped her. And I must bring this hammer down and join her. <coughs> final scene of the play uh, had won many awards in the Leading Actor Award for the year and Best Pianist.